What do we know then about Biden's call with Netanyahu and, and what the U.S. is, is promising to Israel? Yeah, that's right. So uh, President Biden did have a call with the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu on Thursday evening. A White House readout of the call said that the president had discussed Israel's efforts uh, to support its defense system and that there had been further discussions about the possibility of U.S. supplying Israel with further military equipment. This, of course, as Israel is now on a high state of alert, the Prime Minister Netanyahu saying yesterday that the country is in a very high level of preparedness in anticipation of a retaliation out of Iran or its proxies in the region after the taking out of two key figures, both from Hamas and Hezbollah, uh, this week. Now, separately, in comments uh, overnight, uh, President Biden was speaking to reporters in Maryland after the exchange of the political prisoners, and uh, he was asked about how the Middle East and the ceasefire discussions are going. This is new. He was saying, we have the basis for a ceasefire. Netanyahu should move on it, and they should move on it now. So again, the U.S. pushing very very hard to get this ceasefire agreement across the line. Uh, one of the key stumbling blocks, of course, is that Israel has been hesitant to sign on to a truce that would lead to a permanent ceasefire. And at the same time, a lot of questions are being raised about who actually is going to be representing Hamas on the other side, given two of their senior commanders' figures have been taken out in the course of the last few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. And quite incredible to think about progress being made in the context of, uh, of those assassinations. Uh, talk to us about the role of Hezbollah here then. Hezbollah's leader has threatened Israel, saying the conflict has entered a new phase. But some people drawing attention to the fact that he's not calling for all-out war at this point. Is that something getting attention in the region, Jamana? It is, absolutely. And I think many people were on alert for what Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, had to say yesterday. Uh, he spoke via video at the funeral procession of Fuad Shukr, who was, of course, his right-hand man and the commander that the Israeli airstrike took out on Tuesday evening. Uh, and the language was uh, a, a lot of fighting talk. He warned of a potential retaliation. But again, as ever, with these types of speeches that Nasrallah tends to deliver, uh, he kept it vague. He said that the retaliation will be very well studied and not superficial, but he did say that the war has entered into a new phase that is different from the previous period. And again, uh, here the diplomatic channels are working very hard to stop Lebanon from being dragged into a war, a bigger war in the region similar to what happened in 2006, which brought on a lot of destruction on the country. At the same time, another funeral procession was being held in Iran yesterday for the death of Ismail Haniyeh. The Ayatollah, the supreme leader, led prayers there, and he himself the Ayatollah has vowed retaliation on the attacks earlier this week. So still, uh, the region is on alert for these anticipated retaliation, but we don't have any idea yet what form they're going to take.